we are live. Welcome to Scream Queens Season Five, Episode Season One, Episode Five Thoughts. This episode is I forgot to write down the title. I'll have it momentarily. This episode is called Pumpkin Patch. And yeah, so I really love that we, you know, we learn both Fergies are coming. The good news is, yes, Fergie is coming. The bad news is the other Fergie is also coming. And I really love like <laughs> Chanel number one. She wants Led Zeppelin. So, you know, who okay, if it's not your fault that one of the guys died in the 70s. Whose fault is it? Just, it, yeah, really, really low. It, it, you know, the, the kind of just spoiled rich kid energy of just, I want what I want when I want it, and I don't want to hear any excuses. And Abigail Breslin does finally actually leave as she has been, you know, implying and building towards for a while. I really love the thing of like, you know, the, you know, there is a missing young woman out here. Okay, this is like gone girl. You're thinking of gravity. Just which, to be fair, those two movies are basically the exact same. I mean, talk about your shot for shot remake rip off kind of just Hollywood has no ideas, clearly. And the, they're going to dress, the Chanel's are going to dress as the wives of presidents who were assassinated. And I mean, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to claim that Chanel number one does not look amazing as, you know, uh, Jackie Kennedy, that's for, for sure. And let's see. Um, what on earth was that? Yeah, I'll, I'll move on. And I, yeah, we, we see Jennifer's room, and turns out she loves ants as much as she loves candles. And she's got a little ant mask, and she's like, you know. So, you know, there's a lot of daughters who are sterile slaves to the mother. Ideal family. <laughs> oh, God. That is so bad. That is so very bad. And she's like, the thing that she is upset about regarding Halloween being canceled is that it is the candle lover's biggest night. And the, you know, the she's... They're having trouble, you know, convincing her to, to go against Chanel number one. But, you know, the, the thing about... And, and, you know, she makes a good point. You know, I, I really like that they allowed her to be really smart this time. You know, she points out the, the logic of, you know, what was it? There's a lot of... Your plan hinges on a lot of circuitous logic. And it's like... Why would, you know, let's see, there was the thing, of, if Zayde becomes president, why would she make someone other than Grace the vice president, since they're best friends, you know, so just, and, and then it's pointed out, she has, like, a lot of candles that she uses once and then throws out, and I can show you, and, you know, Jennifer is like, no, I could melt all these to make one big candle, they're a hundred dollars each, you know. Just yeah, that was that was really funny. And Chanel number one is cheating in class. Well, you know, technically I can't I I can't get myself to say the words, but yeah, that it was a really funny kind of and she's like Oh, you're new here. You don't know. It, it, hang, hang on. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna call my dad, and I'm gonna get you fired. You know. And he's like, oh, fine, whatever. And and you know, leaves. And then the cop show up, Chanel Oberlin, and he's like, huge smiles, like, 
there she is. Will the record show that the the college professor took less than a second in gleefully indicating that Chanel number one was in fact Chanel Oberlin. Just that was really it's just biggest smile. Just love seeing it. And yeah, Zayday wakes up down in, in the pit and like immediately we're getting Sounds of the Lambs vibes. And then they follow up on that later with the the night vision goggles and the the uh, what's the word? And, and night vision goggles, the the dark and and you know shooting that's just yeah really really great and the the you know for a while it looks like it's gonna be a POV shot and then Red Devil walks into frame so you know there's a lot of shots like that in the original 1978 Halloween so love to see that oh I'm so glad you girls are here it's lunch where else would be we be fake eating? And you know they're literally like they've got the forks and spoon and just like sticking into air in the in the plates. Like we're gonna look, just go. It's time for the entree, and you know with with great pomp and circumstance. You know she lifts the the metal covering thing to reveal. Another empty plate. Oh, that's my favorite. <sighs> Look, Grace, we'll we'll deal with that later. These girls have air to eat, you know. And the let's see. Yeah, and and <laughs> Wes and Gigi are taking it to the next level. And Grace is so like the 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 notion that the that that her father would be intimate with a woman again is so foreign to her that she doesn't take just a, a couple of you know she's like well that's that's my dad i can hear the 90s music you know pumping she doesn't think to maybe maybe just like knock on the door wait for an answer. No, she just buzzes right in. It's like, oh, we were high-fiving? <laughs> Which is just... I mean... I would say I've heard more ridiculous lies to cover up someone having sex, but I actually don't think I have. I think that might be the single most ridiculous... They were high-fiving. That's what was going on there. Just... Yeah, <laughs> I mean, points for for effort at at least, and the the you know and and it's like well your dad and I were having a salad date. What's a salad date? And it's you know instead of saying like you know what um I can explain some other time. She's like no wait, here here's the exact reasoning behind it. You know, it's more than a, a coffee date, but less than a dinner date. You know, and just and and the um let's see yeah, and and then you know, Wes is like, I'm I'm sorry about this, Grace, and, and Grace is like, it's it's fine, you know, I I guess you're moving on from mom. I we don't have to talk about my my sad dead feeling inside. Wow, she she is just very honest. Like she the the, the girl has very little of a filter. Under the under very certain circumstances, at least, you know, she also blurted out that the that um, I can't believe I'm blanking on his name. I'll have it momentarily. Um, Pete was ruining everything that was good about the kiss by talking, and the, yeah, the. <laughs> Chanel number one explains to her prison besties exactly why she why she's still in prison. You know, why didn't her dad bail her out? So I called my dad and he said that he's very busy about to endorse Ted Cruz, so he can't 
you know, be seen as being, you know, the father of a murderer right now, so he abandoned me again. Did she go to prison last time? N n never mind. You know what? I, I, I don't want to know. I, I, I worry that what I already know about Chanel will one day mean that I am, like, called upon to witness against her, and I, I really, like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I, I don't need to know everything. And, you know, the, the, I do really like the, the notion of, like, no, no, no the, the, um, you know, he's going to endorse Ted Cruz, which, yeah, you know, a number of, some people actually did think Ted Cruz was going to become president in 2016. You know, let's see, this episode aired uh, late 2015, yeah, October 13th, 2015, so, yeah, that's, uh, and later in the episode, they do talk about, like, election fraud, which is something that Trump absurdly claimed to be the case after losing in 2020 so yeah I really like the bit I don't think I got it written down so I'll say it here even though it's you know, slightly out of order but yeah I think I'm, look this rule is right here in the bylaws of Kappa Kappa Tau which dates back was it 17 1725 and, and Sam is like um, it actually looks like you crossed out something else and then wrote it in with with markers just yeah and the the you know she's just she's so dedicated to to voting with without the, the others just yeah and yeah and and Chanel of course bails on her new friends immediately the moment that she's getting bailed out and Right, and it was also really funny when Chanel got arrested, and she's like, I, "You got to remember, smile in your mugshot because they, you know, a lot of people are gonna see that image." And I like the detail that Chad Radwell, like Dean Munch, didn't think sex with him was good, but Denise Hemphill, she really loved it, and she goes about, "Oh, there's, you know, there was a lot of role play." I could 100% see that. Like, I hate when when you sacrifice like the integrity of a character just for a cheap joke. I 100% believe that Chad and Denise got together, did extensive role play, and and both got really into it. That 100% that checks out. Yeah. And <laughs> I really love when you know. Dean Munch is like, so, uh, I guess you two aren't, like, an item or what, you know, with about Gigi and Wes. And Gigi's like, mm -hmm, yes. And, and just, yeah, just great. Also, yeah, I ended up not writing it down, I don't know why, but really love the reveal at the end of the episode that Gigi is working with the Red Devil. And, you know, she said, that got too close. Get rid of him. I'm going on a salad date with a special someone. So whoever him is, it's not Wes. Is she talking about... I mean, the only other guy that was in the Sounds of the Lambs area was Pete. So I guess maybe him? Yeah, I... Anyway, the the... Yeah, and we find out that Hester and Jennifer actually um, framed Breslin for the, the, you know, not only did they, you know, actually have Chanel arrested, which, fair enough, she killed at least one person that they know of. Like, at this point, the, the dead body has been found, confirmed to be dead, not a student, but dead, and they did see it with their own eyes like that's not in dispute so you know but yeah they actually framed Abigail Breslin for having having said it 
you know, having having gotten her arrested, and the thing with Gary Coleman, you know, the the reason so skinny is because his parents had the kidneys removed. Why would I say that? You know, that's not true. I would not say that about Gary Coleman. Is that even true? I don't know, but it just makes sense. And or uh, yeah, if it isn't true, then why does it make so much sense? And I love Gigi, like going into just wildly specific about the the clay, red, red clay f footprints. And Denise is like, "How do you know this? Ex like this is this is extremely specific, you know? It's uh, yeah, and and it's you know it's a thing in like." murder mysteries, you know, someone will have very specific, specific knowledge and, you know, either it's an indication that they're the killer or it's a red herring, you know, so, yeah. And... Man, Denise Hemphill knows her daytime TV, you know, she goes through, like, tons of, you know, Maury, Dr. Phil, you know, yeah, just a bunch of different ones in trying to get them to, to come to the, you know, yeah, to go look for the killer. And, you know, Abigail Breslin said she was going to get in trouble if she, you know, she was going to run into Red Devil if she actually tried to go and light the candles. But Chanel number one has something on her that I am not going to say out loud on camera. But it's v d just deeply disturbing. Like, it, it's one of the most disturbing things they've said so far on this show. And that's saying something. But, yeah, so Breslin goes out there with Roger and Dodger, the, the Eiffel Tower twins. And, you know, she's lighting all of these jack-o'-lanterns. Red Devil shows up. And the moment, you know, they're gone, and then Red Devil shows up, very suspect. Oh, never mind. It's not them because they run in like two seconds later. I love how the show will like seem to set something up and then just immediately. Like it was also honestly, I thought, oh, I guess Chanel is just gonna be in jail from now on for a while. If you know, if her dad won't bail her out. Oh no, never mind. You know, um, Billy Lord called, said, you know, oh yeah, um, textbooks are more expensive. Got three hundred grand. No questions as you know just yeah you know it, it seemed like oh this is gonna they're gonna do that thing where like she's you know she's gonna cl claw her way up to the top and she's gonna be king of the or queen of the prison or something but oh no never mind she was you know the amount of screen time that you know yeah the amount of screen time of, of prison that she's you know was like two minutes maybe or something so just yeah but but yeah, you know, so the, the yeah, Roger and Dodger run back in and it's the Red Devil. Let's trash his car. Cause that's where they're at, you know. It's like are you annoying us? Are you trying to kill us? You know, they're they have a go to, you know? Usually when someone bugs them, they're gonna trash that person's car. And the other one doesn't even say, what do you mean, the car? He just says, for now, for first, we gotta save, uh, you know, Chanel. So it's just, yeah. And then the, the right, and, and the fact that they did actually do the, the Shining Maze, you know, which, like, at the start of the episode, you know, she specifically called out, you know, I want the Shining Maze. I want a perfect recreation of the Shining Maze. And the, the, yeah, so they're running through that as, as they're being chased. And they even have the thing where, you know, it ends up with just two people, one of them a woman, one of them is like, got like a, a tiny limp, you know, so moving through the, it's just, yeah. And then they insist that she has to choose. And she, she does that thing that I quite like, where she points out, okay, there are several problems with this. For, first of all, why? Second of all, why now? What is life or death situation? What, do you, 
Like, would you rather at least one of us die than me not make this decision right here, right now? Like, this is ridiculous, you know, just like, so, so, yeah, you know, like, at the very least, wait until the, the, the death, uh, um, the threat of death has passed, you know, but no, she, she chooses one, the other one goes off on his own, and they do the thing with the, the footsteps. <laughs> wait, he can follow our footsteps. We have to walk backwards in our footsteps. Um, our, our own footsteps. Roger, watch your footsteps. Watch them for what? <laughs> Just walk backwards. I got this. And instead of walking backwards back the way he came, he turns around and walks backwards further down. Just he doesn't even question it. Like he doesn't even like he's he's all in on this. He just takes a dive. Like he doesn't stop and say, "Why would it matter if I walked backwards in the direction I was already going? How does that confuse?" Okay, to be fair, not gonna lie, it would confuse the hell out of me. Like if I was Red Devil. And I was like, I don't know how much time it would buy him, but yes, like, following the footsteps, and like, ah, he must be right down here, and looking up, and he's walking backwards. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'd, I'd be, like, having to adjust the mask to, to scratch my head, wondering why. Like, that's just... What? And I love that Denise Hemphill was very careful to bring everything. Okay, so here are tasers for everyone, and there are some decoder rings. Ah, flashlights, right! How could I forget the flashlights? At least we have decoder rings, though. That's, I mean, let's be honest. If you gotta do without one or the other, decoder rings all the way. Come on now. That's just, let's not get completely crazy here. And... Yeah, just absolutely love the the. <laughs> I love when when Zayde, you know, for, first the 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 Chanel's are about to to vote, you know, and the the d despite Sam and and Jennifer, you know, pointing out there's some what what about what about this and and that thing, you know, no no, no. Um, Chanel number one is about to have everyone vote. Before Zayday shows up, okay, because that's important. Because if Zayday votes, you know she'll she'll have a Chanel number one will have a worse chance of winning. And then Zayday shows up, and Chanel number one is like, okay, fine, whatever, you get to vote too. Now let's hurry up before Grace shows up, you know. And the others are like, I mean, what what happened? How did the you know and. Chanel number one is upset that the story doesn't contain torture. Like, this, the only way this story could be interesting to me is if it involves you being brutally tortured, you know. And apparently the Red Devil was, like, trying to seduce her or something. Like, Red Devil, you're trying to seduce me. You know, got the got the was it Oakland nachos, and you know she she manages to stab him with uh you know with a in the hand with a fork. You smug brick, you know, and yeah, that's that's legitimately like, and I I really admire how much like you know. They've really gotten some some expression out of the like just the body language because you know obviously the face is completely covered you can't see anything at all but you know he's like here you go you know pull out the chair and like pick up the the you know covering thing to to reveal the the Oakland nachos she's not going to be eating air excuse you very much and just yeah it's it's yeah really really fun episode 
I think I've said, oh, right, right, I can't believe I, yeah, I really liked, you know, Chad, like, giving a speech in order to, yeah, and now that I think, I don't think it actually changed anything. He was like, so, we're gonna have Halloween, and Dean is like, no, you're not, bye, you know, just, yeah, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Like, Jamie Lee Curtis, just an absolute queen. Um, yeah, so the, the um, uh, let's see, what was the other thing? Uh, yeah, Chad, you know, he's like, I took a class, American Presidents. And, you know, and he, he says JFK's full name as, like, you know, the, um, the Valor, uh, what was it? Um, yeah, I, f I forget, but, you know, he, the, the, yeah, this, this thing about, like, the Vietnam War, so he's comparing these douchey college kids, okay, to be fair, up against a serial killer, to Vietnam, which, you know, like, a lot of the people who fought in that were not, like, upper class, kind of, you know, and he says, you know, the only thing to fear is fear itself. And in this case, also a serial killer, but we're not afraid of either. Just, yeah, really, really low with the... Yeah, and yeah, Hester also got some nice, creepy moments here, like, you know, Shenlong number one is like, there's the door, Abigail Breslin, and then Hester's like, there's the door! Just absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, just, um, I liked when, like, the, the, what's it called, they're, yeah, yeah, Chanel is, is arrested, and then, like, some of the Chanel's are standing there, like, sunglasses, and it's like, you know, it could have been, like, how, how many of them were in on this thing, kind of thing, you know, and, you know, yes, um, Billy Lord, uh, Chanel number three, was laying down the law while the, you know, while Chanel number one was off in prison, so that was, yeah. I think that is everything. Right, right, just briefly, the, the Sounds of the Lamb, like, I appreciate, like, they went all out. Like, there's so many sharp instruments in that horrible looking basement wait, wait did he did the red devil dig the the you know the pit i'm i'm just i i i know it's not very relevant i'm just i feel like there's a very very narrow market for basements with a pit under the anyway you know all these sharp instruments and the camera caresses and we hear the shing, you know kind of noise you know, excellent sound design, and, you know, you see the, the other room where, like, the Red Devil is making the costume, and, you know, there's the, uh, let's see, yeah, and, and the, and the path to the, the pit, and, and the, you know, and, and the sweet old lady, you know, I really love this tenant. He pays, I don't see him much. He pays every, you know, he pays in cash on time. And, you know, like, we're immediately like, okay, that is, like, there's so many red flags for this dear old lady to have completely missed, you know, but she's just happy that, you know, oh, it's no hassle. You know, the, the, he's, he is such a wonderful person to rent to like the the blood curling screams of his victims impossible to hear because he you know because of the depth of the pit just incredibly like to the 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 way he he tends to to you know the yeah just so so sweet of him so just uh, yeah and the, you know, the tasers are being handed out, and she gets one. She's like, "What am I supposed to do with this?" I appreciate, like, 
this is a show where fairly few characters actually stop and say, wait, what? You know, most of the time they're, like, trying to figure out what's going to... But this sweet old lady is not actually happy to be handed a taser. Like, she's just... Look, I just... I I helped you guys find the, the seller. Now, if, if you don't mind, you know, I, I have soap operas to, to watch. And, you know, yeah, just... I I really love how the 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 mystery is very gradually unraveling. Like we we learned in the last episode that Gigi took care of the baby, and in this one we see that she's working with the Red Devil. You know, so the the yeah, it's it's either the Red Devil is that baby. Or she is like trying to get revenge for something about the. It just yeah, really, really looking forward to to finding out where it goes next. And yeah, um, so next episode, I do hope to make the uh, th yeah Thursday of next week. We shall see. But, yeah, in the meantime, yes, and, and this is almost definitely going to be my last video this week. But, yeah, hope, hopefully, let's see, next, I guess, uh, let's see, Wednesday, I guess, or is it Tuesday? Yes, Wednesday will be, or actually it might only be Thursday, yeah, anyway, it will be Wednesday or Thursday is when I expect the next video to go up, but yeah, until then, stay screaming, Queens.